Lithium now costs $11,000 for a 75 kilowatt hour pack, but gives people fire, fear, and a battery that dies too soon. After 20 years on gas, who would put faith in that thing? But if you still want to be sustainable or still wait for the cheapest car from Tesla, here's some big good news. The upcoming Model 2 with under $25,000 price tag won't lock you into one battery and plenty of compromises. Elon Musk now says that he will ship you the car with three different options, aluminum ion, sodium ion, or solid state. All say no to fire risk and each built for a different type of driver in America. Whether you live in a super crowded city or the coldest place in our country, that's no longer a problem. In this video, let Auto Gear Shift break down what those three options mean for your everyday driving, your wallet, and which battery should end up powering your next Tesla. So hit that subscribe button and join our 10,311 members who already know how Tesla is serving our drive and our lives. How will Tesla's three new batteries make the Model 2 ready for every American driver? Three very different types of batteries, aluminum ion, solid state, and sodium ion, each optimized to perfectly match the daily realities of every kind of American driver. Tesla's aluminum ion battery is a breakthrough designed for busy urban living. Its range of around 250 miles may not sound extreme, but the average American drives just 37 miles per day. That means this battery is more than enough. It's nearly seven days of use before needing a recharge. But the biggest change comes in charging speed. While today's best lithium-ion fast chargers take 25 to 30 minutes to reach 80%, aluminum-ion batteries can reach that in just 4 minutes and full in 6. Yes, you heard that right. For drivers in cities like New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles, where time and space are scarce, this removes the biggest psychological barrier to EV adoption – the stress of waiting. Tesla will likely use aluminum-ion batteries for the Model 2 standard range, which is focused on short, continuous urban trips that prioritize fast charging over long driving range. For those who need to drive long distances, Model 2 long range will probably come with solid-state batteries. This tech offers the greatest range among the three we're talking about in this video, ranging from 570 to 630 miles per charge. That's twice the range of a typical 250 to 300 miles lithium-ion electric car on the road today. For a trip from Los Angeles to the Grand Canyon, the Model 2 can complete the trip without stopping. Charging times are also improved. While not as impressive as aluminum-ion batteries, solid-state technology is expected to fully charge in about 12 to 15 minutes, 55% faster than lithium. It's clear that a solid-state Model 2 would be for drivers who love long drives, who plan to spend more time traveling or camping after retirement, or who frequently travel between states. Sodium-ion battery is perfect for drivers who face the toughest weather conditions. With a 17-minute full charge that gives the Model 2 a range of 280 to 310 miles, it comfortably exceeds the daily needs of most drivers. But what sets sodium-ion apart is its thermal stability. Unlike lithium-ion cells, which lose 50% capacity in extreme cold or intense heat, sodium ion moves easily at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius without freezing, and at temperatures as high as 60 degrees Celsius, they resist decomposition better than lithium ion. That can ensure whether the car is parked in Arctic conditions or driving across a desert cannot cut your Model 2's range in half. In particular, sodium ion batteries are the longest lasting batteries ever developed, with 10,000 charge cycles equivalent to 18 to 20 years of use, double the life of current lithium-ion batteries, which typically only reach 4,000 to 5,000 cycles. For drivers in Alaska, Arizona, or any region where traditional EVs risk dead batteries under extreme weather, sodium-ion makes the Model 2 a long-lasting, truly all-season, all-weather car. So, which team are you? City driver, road trip lover, or weather warrior? Tesla will know which battery you need for your Model 2. Comment A if you want aluminum batteries, 
B if you choose solid state ones, or C if you think sodium ion is best. And if you want more details, we've already covered each battery type in previous videos. Feel free to check them out while we keep bringing you the latest updates. How Tesla's next-gen batteries make Model 2 safer than any lithium car. Driving electric sounds great, until you realize the lithium battery under your feet can catch fire and explode any time. That's seriously creepy. It's no wonder as lithium packs are basically mini gas tanks on wheels. The real danger comes from the liquid organic carbonate electrolyte inside. Once the battery hits 120 degrees Celsius, the protective layers start breaking down. Lithium reacts with the liquid and heat spikes. At 150 degrees Celsius, the liquid decomposes into flammable gases like methane and hydrogen. If it climbs to 180 degrees Celsius, the battery can explode, reaching 600 to 700 degrees Celsius. That's why lithium packs need cooling systems weighing up to 70 kilograms, and even then, the risk isn't zero. We still have to worry about the worst cases. Tesla's three new batteries, on the other hand, are designed to be completely safe with no dangerous electrolyte. Solid-state batteries top the safety charts for can't catch fire. Their solid electrolytes mean no liquids, no evaporation, nothing to ignite. So is there a chance of fire? Nope. Right now, Tesla is testing ceramic sulfide solid electrolytes, which don't melt, decompose when it's up to 400 degrees Celsius. And hitting that heat in real life? Only if you toss your car into a volcano. In other words, under normal real-life conditions, fire just can't happen. Solid-state batteries are also the best fit for the Model 2's battery pack design. The ceramic sulfide allows Tesla to reduce the shell thickness from 7 mm in the lithium pack down to just 2 mm. When integrated directly into the vehicle's frame, it fits perfectly with the Model 2's compact design under 4 meters long, while still increasing chassis stiffness by about 15%. Aluminum and salt batteries will likely use ionic liquids or polymer-based gel electrolytes. Yes, it's still liquid. But the boiling point of these solutions is 300 degrees Celsius, about 1.5 to 2 times that of the organic carbonate in lithium batteries. 300 degrees Celsius is the equivalent of molten tin, far beyond any real-world EV use case. The electrolyte would only start to evaporate and break down if you put the battery directly to an extremely high flame. However, liquid electrolytes still have a 1-2% to risk of leakage. When incorporated into structural packs, they require an additional 4-5 to millimeters of leak-proof padding and reinforcement. The manufacturing process is a bit more complicated than solid-state batteries. Which battery technology is truly ready for mass-market affordable EVS? Aluminum, sodium, and solid-state batteries are directly tackling the high costs and supply limits that lithium-ion cells face in the U.S., and for Tesla specifically. While China still controls a $30 billion lithium empire, switching to these alternative chemistries is key for Musk to actually deliver the $25,000 Model 2 he promised. So, which battery will Americans get first? Sodium ion batteries are the most ready to power over 2 million Model 2s expected by the end of 2025 or early 2026. Yep, it's basically right in front of us. Tesla plans to produce these cells at Giga Texas, right next to massive salt deposits. Around 42 million tons extracted per year in the area. Production costs are expected to be just $40 to $50 per kilowatt hour, 50 to 60% cheaper than today's lithium ion packs, bringing the Model 2 price down to $18,000 to $20,000, even before year end Tesla incentives. Next up, the aluminum ion battery is probably the most hyped in the US. Tesla is developing it in house at their R&D labs while partnering with Graphene Manufacturing Group on graphene-based electrodes. Scaling up aluminum ion production is feasible within 10 to 12 months at Giga Nevada on existing pilot lines, which means we could see a Model 2 running on aluminum ion cells as early as summer 2026. Production costs are estimated at $50 to $70 per kilowatt hour, 
putting the Model 2 price at around $19,000 to $21,000. Solid-state batteries are coming later and will initially be limited. The first phase of testing is underway at Giga Texas, which has a mass production line for the 4680 dry electrode battery technology for the Cybertruck. That's the lowdown on Tesla's next-gen batteries and how they're making the Model 2 safer, faster, and cheaper for every type of driver. Now it's your turn. Which battery would you trust under your hood? Drop your pick in the comments to let us know. If you found this helpful, hit like, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next video.